You see, this story is about the brain, so don't leave. It'd be a shame for you to miss this tale about a man in pain. The pain of a man. This man called Dan. He wasn't a religious nut or part of a cult, but just a regular adult. Well, nearly an adult. Now Drew liked things that were new. I should mention at this point that he had an obsession with changing his name. This way there was always a different version to blame. Now Drew liked things that were new. His shirt, his watch and even this screw. His phone, his socks, every week a new set of locks. Now Lloyd used to constantly study Freud. That was before he got distracted and convinced himself of a crashing asteroid. The end of the world has begun. Calm down, that's just the sun. It took Lloyd a week before he would even take a peek at the world or even the street. After this, he started to freak about staying indoors, so he took a trip to Mozambique. When he returned home, he felt so new. I've never felt like this. I've never felt... Oh. An old screw. I've never felt this sense of pride. I must try everything I've never ever tried. Off he went out the door and ran to the nearest store. He passed a dog that had one eye. He passed a man that said goodbye. Right. He passed the bed and picked the flower. He arrived at the shop upon the hour. But before he could climb inside to sample everything this place had to hide, he heard a voice fickle and dry. What if I told you you could try everything you never knew? Intrigued by the offer, his ears perked and his eyes grew. The mysterious man briefly explained, but Lloyd was set like a white shirt stained. Lloyd had to accept the idea for what it was to be, signing his life away, no longer being free. As the man burst into flames and blew away, a box appeared as clear as day. He opened the box and what does he see? A happy little world where he could finally be. What's this over there? He began to stare. A rare pair sat on a chair. What was this place he was in? The clouds, the sky, a man and his twin. The trees were new, their leaves are blue. There was a man that lived in a shoe. A fish weighed two, no three. An entire world that lived on his knee. He was finally happy. He was sure what more could this world have in store. Lloyd grew cold and blue. It was like his brain was missing a screw. You see, this world never really did exist. He made it up. A lie. Eh, you get the gist. And so this man, driven insane by the wonders of his brain, left alone, never heard from again. But the story doesn't end here. One last word to be said, so listen near. Now how do I know all this, I hear you ask? Well, telling you that is a very simple task. You see, let me end this tale by telling you... I'm that male. I'm as mad as a goose. And so ends my story, I tied neatly like a hangman's noose. The moral is, don't get lost in drug misuse. <laughs>